Welcome to this Leverage Technologies SAP Business One 8.82 presentation of sales opportunities. In many organizations, sales opportunities are run by the sales team and the sales managers on spreadsheets. And the sales manager meets with the team once a week and goes through the spreadsheets of opportunities that are currently being worked on. Well, the good news is that within SAP Business One, we can keep sales opportunities inside the system and we can monitor existing sales opportunities both for base customers and for new opportunities and we can run multiple reports on these opportunities as well. So let's take a look and see how this works. If I open up a sales opportunity, what I'll see first and foremost is that I can run a sales opportunity either for an existing customer, so let's say I'm going to call up Earthshaker Corporation, or I could create a sales opportunity for a new prospect or someone who's not currently a customer of ours. Because this particular opportunity I've opened up for an existing customer called Earthshaker, I can see that they've currently spent to date $595,000 with us. I can, of course, standard SAP Business One functionality, drill down and I can get additional account detail for that customer and a graphical representation of their account balance as well. Typical drill down, drill around functionality inside SAP Business One. But let's go back to that particular sales opportunity. What I'll see now is the sales employee to whom that opportunity has been given is Sophie Clogg and the owner is Warren. Of course I can assign this to a different sales employee or different owner if I wish. I'm going to predict that this opportunity will close in two months time. So that's the 6th of the 10th and I'm going to give it a potential of $25,000. And I'm going to say that our gross profit I think is going to be 15%. $3,750. I think there's a high level of interest in this particular opportunity. And let's give it a name. Computer Sales. Now what I can do, I can go into the General tab. I can, if I want to, click on a Channel Partner Code, which would be a company that we may be working with, if it's a distributor, for example, on this particular opportunity. I can also put things in like where did the information come from? What industry sector is this particular opportunity in? And I can put remarks here. This is a great opportunity to sell the new range of XFT computers. I can now monitor the various stages of this sales opportunities. So in SAP Business One, I can define my various stages and I can give a weighting to each stage. So I might say that opportunities typically start at lead stage, then first meeting, second meeting, quotation, negotiation and order. And I can give a weighting to those. So if I was at, for example, negotiation stage, I might say I have an 80% chance of closing that particular opportunity. Or if I'm at first meeting stage, a 20% chance. Those are, of course, weightings and stages which I assign to the system. So at this stage, we're now at lead stage, $25,000 opportunity, and we've got a 6% chance of closing, which means the weighting is $1,500. Obviously, if I was at order stage, I'd have a much greater weighting on that particular opportunity. My partners, so who am I going to partner with? What's the relationship with that particular partner company that I'm going to partner with? Who are my competitors? And what's the summary? Is it an open opportunity? Did I win or lose the opportunity? And if I won the opportunity, why did I win it? Or if I lost the opportunity, why did I lose that particular opportunity? And of course, as with other parts of SAP Business One, I can add attachments into the system as well so that I can attach relevant documents at this point in time. So what we've seen here is the ability to create for a lead or an existing customer a sales opportunity inside SAP Business One. Once I add that opportunity in, 
I can go back, I can review the opportunity, I can review the stages that the opportunity is at. I can then add particular stages to that as I move through that sales cycle. This replaces the old system of having salespeople put the opportunities into their own versions of the spreadsheet. What I now have is within SAP Business One, the sales team are keeping their various opportunities. Now the beauty of this is that when it comes to reporting, the sales manager can go in and just run an opportunities forecast report. And it says, do you want to run that just for one particular business partner or customer or lead? Do you want to run it just for one territory, New South Wales or Queensland, for example? Just for one sales employee or just for one stage? So I might say, run it just for sales employee Brett, where the stage is negotiation and order. Because that will tell me orders that I believe we're going to receive in the very near future. Or I might say for Brett, just show me all current leads that he's working on, etc. Or I might say, just give me this particular date range. Or if I believe that I'm losing a number of opportunities to particular competitors, I may look at something by a particular range of competitors. Typically what would happen, a salesperson may be under pressure or a sales manager to find out what are we going to close at the end of this quarter. Again, what they may do then is go in and say, show me all opportunities that are at final negotiation stage and then get a list of those. And as we go through, this particular report is by a salesperson. There are the particular opportunities that Sophie is working on. And as with other parts of SAP Business One, I can, of course, drill down and I can see the particular opportunity. Now, there are a number of different reports available, including forecast over time report, statistics reports, stage analysis reports. So show me different leads at different stages, for example. And there are other reports as well, one opportunities, lost opportunities. So I want to have a look at all opportunities that I've lost and I want to see the reason codes that I've lost those opportunities. And of course, an opportunities pipeline. So in this instance, I've got six opportunities at lead stage, five at first meeting, two at second meeting, seven at negotiation, a quotation and one at negotiation stage. So what we've seen here within SAP Business One is the ability to keep these sales opportunities for each salesperson to enter into their own pipeline and opportunities and then for a sales manager or sales team to be able to review the various pipelines in a meeting online within SAP Business One. Of course this is only one part of the CRM system within SAP Business One. SAP Business One also has marketing opportunities, marketing campaign management uh, and activities throughout the system. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of uh, sales opportunities. If you'd like any further information, please don't forget to go to our website at www.leveragetech.com.au. Thank you.